All right, good morning. So here we're standing on Napua in front of the home. This is looking towards um, 40th Avenue, which is paved and leads here. So this is looking towards the dead end. We're going to mosey our way in the driveway. All right. So there is electricity and cable and phone at the road. Um, this is the entrance. This is our driveway right here. We'll do a quick span around the neighbors across the street. Again, the dead end. All right, and we're marching in. Okay, so the driveway is a nice, probably about two, three hundred feet in. Super private, lush, full of flowers along the, the driveway. There's ginger on the right-hand side. Yeah, guava on both sides, big palms. So this is a... Um, this is a power pole that they brought in, and this is actually used for the um, high-speed internet. So that's for the cable that we've got in. And we're still meandering down our driveway. Got a lovely uh, hibiscus flower. All right, we'll keep moving. Um, that surfboard marking the edge, reminding us we're in Hawaii. It's a beautiful morning out here. The yohia trees are in full bloom. <clears throat> yeah, so nice, tucked away. There's a gate at the front that's locked. Um, and then there's a secondary fencing up here around the house that's also got, um, that's locked and secure. So it, it feels really secure. Uh, the previous owner that, that did a lot of this work was a special forces guy that came here to retire and, and did a lot of this work. So as you'll note on the fence line, Couple rows of barbed wire on the top, fenced all the way around the house, and on this side as well. This is a storage container, a little Matson storage container that's super useful. And we're coming in. Okay, so we've got the home right up here, um, and the detached studio. And then as we look this way, we're gonna we're gonna pan up, pan around. Oh, we might get hit by the sun here, so we'll bring it back down. Got some nice kalu right there. Kalu. I'm making poi. All right. And back down the driveway where we came from. There's a little greenhouse on site. And let's start with the studio. So the studio looks new. Looks like the studio was built uh, recently. It is... Head on in there. Take a look. Okay. I'm going to let the light adjust here for just a minute. So, simple construction, but new construction. You can tell it's new construction. We've got a little kitchenette. We've got a little bathroom. You can see the framing on the wall, so there's no drywall. And truth be told, out here, because of the moisture, it's good not to have drywall all over the place. All right, so, into the kitchen. Kitchen has a sink. It's plumbed outside. It's got a propane burner. Little fridge. Um, you can tell the windows are new vinyl windows, which is good. Um, and that's... The bed right there. Take a step back so you can see the flooring, like a new kind of vinyl flooring or something along those lines. Okay, so yeah, real simple, real clean. We'll go into the bathroom here real quick as well. Um, something fun in the bathroom. So this is the sink, toilet clearly. All right. Uh, this is the shower stall right here. And inside the shower stall, as we pan up, you can see a vent that they've got vented outside, so when you're showering and the moisture doesn't collect in here. And truth be told, it looks like it has been built in workmanship-like fashion. Here we go with the vent. Yeah. So again, real simple, but looks like it's well built. The studio looks like it is well built, indeed. Um, okay, so we're gonna meander out and take a look at the main house. Back it on up. Yeah, cute. 
cute together, self-sufficient. Um, nothing wrong with this face at all. Feels real good. Okay, we're moving on. Excuse me, put my slippers back on here. Okay, we're gonna roll up to the main home. And we'll take a look again from the outside. Um, main home looks to be in good condition as well. Looks like there's been a lot of uh, upkeep on it, a lot of work that's been done. Um, they did put the solar on there. So, up the stairs. This is an entrance, we'll go to the back deck first. You can see the, you can see the roof line here of the studio. And across through the trees, you can see the neighbor's lot over there. It's good to have neighbors out here too. Okay, then we're coming in. That's the vent right there that was venting the, the, the shower. Okay, back deck. Um, you can see here, we are nestled in the trees. That is for sure. Um, this guy right here in front of us is a mountain apple tree. This guy right there behind that is an avocado full of avos. Yeah, and there's many, many myriad more trees back there. That's a star fruit right behind it, right there. It's loaded with fruit trees. So really, this, this needs to be cleaned out, you know, to have someone come in and clean it out so that you can access the fruit and see the flowers and enjoy the space. Um, that, that would be, yeah, so that's a job for sure, having somebody come in and help push back away from the house a little bit and open up the fruit trees. Okay, we're going <coughs> to, excuse me. We're going to come in here real quick. This is the water catchment tank, uh, 2,500 gallons. It is sealed, which is good. It's nice to have a sealed one. A lot of them out here are the, the what's called doughboys or metal. You know, they have metal ring around it and a, and, a, and a liner on top, but it's open. So this is nice. It keeps the water clean. This is looking into the, uh, the little bedroom in there. Um, looks like with the roof that it has been changed out. They put solar on it. Um, this is new tin on this side, for sure. And it looks like this stuff is pretty good as well up top. Some of the fascia boards are rotting. And that's just the, that just happens with the moisture over here. It just needs to be maintained. The, the roof does need a good washing. And there is some damage on the floor out here on the deck. Um, right there, two by six. And the one next to it looks like it could, it needs to be changed out. But again, that's manageable. Okay, so one last glimpse back here, and let's go on inside and take a look. Okay. Really a, um, a comfortable space. Really quite a comfortable space in here. So we'll back it out. Okay, make sure we're not zoomed in. There we go. Got this wall of windows right here, facing the front in the driveway. A right, nice corner window in there as well. Again, I don't see, I haven't seen any termite damage. Um, there is a little wear and tear from the weather. So yeah, so this is your kind of your, you know, living room, dining space. And then that's the door to the back, to the, to the deck in the back. And the couch. We're going to zoom up to the ceiling up here, pine tongue and groove ceiling. Um, looks to be in good shape. Looks like there was some previous water damage right there. That would definitely I'd want to, you know, to have a have a look at. You definitely want to bring in a, a home inspector. Okay, so beautiful counter, right? Monkey pod counters. Um, the sink. That is quite the fancy. All right. And then real simple. Again, with the propane burner. And they've got a fridge right here, which is actually an electric fridge, looks like. I think it's electric as opposed to propane. Let's see. And we've got some storage across the way. A little pantry. And then we zoom back out here. To look at the door. All right. Ooh, this is worth taking a look at right here. Okay. This is your control panel for the um, inverter 
and the solar. And then for an alarm system. They also have a built-in safe in the wall over here. Get the others some serious. Okay, so we're rolling back this way. We're gonna go take a look at the bathroom. Beautiful, big, super beautiful shower. Walk-in shower for a couple people, looks like. Um, nicely tiled. This is this has all been uh, this has all been added on. So the bathroom right here, we've got the toilet, we've got the monkey pod counter with the shell sink. Oh, 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 you can see how it's plumbed outside. Real simple. And then this is uh, the bedroom right here. And while we're walking in, I'll say hi. How's it? Okay, carry it on, sorry. <laughs> okay, so we've got some screens up top for airflow, right? On both sides, which is good. And then fixed windows, okay? And fixed windows. Again, with the more screens right there. And a slider window. And then we've got this built-in bed. There is, you know, little... Got little shelves built into the wall. We spin back this away. And we've got a little tiny um, closet space. Okay. So we're going to keep moving. And again with the pine tongue and groove up top. Looks like it's sound construction. It looks pretty sound. It feels sound. Uh, I did climb underneath the attic and er, underneath the house and looked at it down there as well. There's two separate um, pumps and pressure tanks for each for each house. So that's awesome. And there's also two separate um, uh, propane on-demand water heaters. Okay, we're gonna go downstairs and take a look real quick, and then we'll wrap it up. And when we talk, um, I can give you the, the rundown in terms of, you know, my thoughts on it. Um, I think at this stage in the game, it, in terms of permitting it, you know, you'd, you'd have to. We'd have to see. That would. You'd, you'd have to see to to, um, to see if it's if if it would be worthwhile to do. All right, over here, a couple of outbuildings. Looks like a little chicken coop, and then that looks like a little bungalow kind of deal. We'll go take a look at the bungalow here real quick. Maybe that's an additional chicken coop. Ooh. Okay, acerola cherry tree loaded with acerola cherries. Okay, moving on. All right. Well, this is a fun little space. Okay. Ooh, got night-blooming jasmine at the doorstep. We're going to unlock it, see what's going on in here. Oh, yeah. This is a sweet little space. Wow. Oh, okay. So this is like your meditation room or your yoga room. It's screened in, right? Real simple. Again, real simple construction. Looks like... Wired for power, so it's got power as well. And then there's a little sitting hour, sitting area that's screened in here as well, out front. Um, okay, moving on. Cute. Cute. Might need a little support on the floors underneath, but sound. Okay, we're gonna close this here. And so this whole area around the house is fenced. Um, big old palms another fruit tree right there the likes of which i'm not exactly sure <laughs> okay and then this is the uh backup generator right here so when the solar power when there's not enough power you can, this can get kicked on and uh fill up the battery pack come back in here and take a look It'd be nice to build a little a little uh, house around that like a little shed around that to keep it from rotting away. Okay, we're going to come in. Wait. Excuse me. Right, let's see here. All right. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but this is the, um, this is the UV water filter right here, the metal guy down there. Um, it's your pressure tank and your water pump for this house, and it looks like they've got all kinds of filters on this thing, which is good. That is your um, on-demand propane water heater. Okay. And 
and then built up on Polson Pier. Looks like it's looks like it's pretty pretty well supported underneath here. Um, good. Here we go. This is your battery pack right here. I don't know if you can see through here. Let's go through this guy. Okay. So it's an outback system. That's your inverter system, which is real common out here and real solid. It's real good. Um, then we're going to come in here for your battery bank. Looks like there's four, eight, 12, 16 batteries. Um, we'll have to see kind of what the life is on them, what the age is on them, that, that kind of deal. That would all come out during the inspection period. Okay, moving on. You can see the little mini propane tanks that they use. Okay. And we're out. Okay, we're going to take one more gander at the gorgeous skyline. Yeah, it's a beautiful home. It's together and it's ready to go. Um, there would be a couple of things to look at. Again, having a home inspector come through and look at the plumbing and the roof. Um, make sure there's no leaks up there. Yeah, there she be. All right, I'll give you guys a, a, a call to discuss or give me a shot to discuss. Okay. And you can see up top there, they do have a security system. Yeah, beautiful. All right, very good. Talk to you soon. Bye.